cool. So how, how exciting is it for you to be here for you know full training camp and, and season now? Uh, very excited. Very excited. I feel like um, everybody in summer um, has been working hard uh, to get to this point, and uh, we finally start tomorrow. How are you feeling after coming off of that, that run in the Eurobasket? Uh, good. Good. Feels good. I um, feel like I'm in shape. Uh, got a couple of days of rest, so I can get my body back and uh, just slowly getting into work throughout the day. How have you really liked Sacramento so far? I mean, you've been here for a few months now, and you really have kind of gotten used to it. What do you like yeah. the most about Sacramento and just as a city as a whole? The weather. The weather is great. <laughs> it's like 80, 90 degrees out there. Well, um, not when it's it was awesome. like 115. Like, hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. When you're in colder places, you'll appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. how, how much have you gotten to, to work out with Mike or be around Mike? Because I know you're over in Europe doing your thing. Uh, Mike actually came and flew into uh, into, into Germany with Rebek. Uh, we had lunch, I mean dinner, and uh, talked over everything that we want to go through the season. So um, it's nice uh, having having their support when I'm doing uh, other things that, that are not with the team. How much did it mean to you to have him fly across the world to come and, and watch you play? Uh, it was cool. It was really cool, especially uh, a lot a lot of the players had their coaches come out and watch, you know, and um, uh, I didn't really know until, like, the day before, so uh, it was uh, it, it was nice. It was nice having them out there in the stands, uh, showing support. It shows that they care. They're invested, and um, it's a good feeling. Well, what, what are the expectations for this team? I know, I mean, everyone wants to break the playoff drought, but yeah. do, you, do you feel good coming into the season knowing that you guys could potentially break that streak? Uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of noise all year. Um, we we can control what we can control, and that's uh, what happened in in the locker room. And to get there is uh, we gotta trust each other. We all gotta be uh, on the same on the same page moving forward. And um, we trust our coaching staff. Uh, they did a great job uh, making this team, and we're, we're, and it starts tomorrow with us uh, working hard. How is it dealing with such a different coaching staff, roster turnover, but also mm -hmm. not much margin for error in a competitive Western Conference? Um, I feel like it's been a great summer. Um, coaches have been uh, on us. They've been uh, keeping us involved on it, on, on everything, um, play, system, um, workouts, you know, a bit of everything. So tomorrow won't be like first day and everything is new. Everyone already has a little a little taste of, 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 of what's going to come. So um, I feel like that just uh, helps everyone come in there and be and, and be more confident. And building off that. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Look at. <laughs> say that you're you satisfied, you know, patting everybody on the back. Are you kidding? Are they surrounding you people with the people that you expect them to do? Uh, yeah, saying? of course. Uh, they've 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 done a great job. Um, we've got shooters, we've got vets, we've got we've got everything we needed, you know. Um, and um, like I, like I said, um, coaching staff is a, a big big move for us, and um, um, everyone's excited. Everyone's excited for them, and um, t tomorrow is going to show. Domas, we saw you working with a shooting coach this summer. Yeah. Just what was that like, and and how much? Has it helped you kind of yeah. figure out some of the, the quirks in your, your shot? Uh, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. You know, I, I, I owe Chris a lot. Um, we worked this summer as, as much as we could. Um, I went back uh, to, to Europe for national team, so uh, we kind of missed there a couple months. But um, I love learning, you know, and learning from one of the best um, is, is great. Um, he's, he's, he's taught me so much more than just shooting. You know, um, there's, a lot, there's a lot more that goes around behind the scenes. And... Um, I'm grateful for that, and uh, I can't wait uh, to get back to work with him. Uh, I know it's early, but what have you really seen from Keegan Murray so far? And how, I mean, what, what have you seen from him? Uh, he's great. He's been great. You know, great kid. Coming in, works every day. He's in the gym all day. And uh, every, every, everyone saw him in Summer League. Uh, we were there present watching a couple of games, and um, he's going to be amazing for us. Uh, I feel like he fits uh, perfect in, in our system that we're trying to build, and um, I, 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 I honestly think he's just going to get better and better. How much fun was that at Summer League? We saw you guys sitting yeah. courtside and, and freaking yeah. out when you hit that, that game tying yeah. shot to send it to overtime. Uh, that was very fun. That was actually my first Summer League event, anything to be a part of. So um, it was really cool that we got to see that game. You know, uh, We wish we wish they won that game, uh, but, it, but, it, but it was really cool being a part of the guys, going out to get dinner, um, spending time with everyone. How big is that to help kind of build the camaraderie off the court, and, and how much do you hope that translates to, to production on the, on the court? I think it's big. I think that's the most important thing. You know, um, all the best teams um, that have won uh, haven't won if, it, if they didn't hang out or, or like each other. You know, if, if you like your brothers, that means on the court you're, you're going to help them. You're going to close out for them. If, if they fall on the ground, you're going to help them up. You know, you're, you're going to go that extra uh, step to, to really make a difference. You spent a lot of time talking with Davion, who's part of this camera's caught you talking with Davion at Summer League, and everybody's talked about the you and Fox's connection, but what about your connection with Davion offensively and defensively, what you two can do? Um, it's great. It's great. Um, anytime I work out, he hits me up, can I join, can I join? Like, uh, he really wants to learn. Um, he's like a sponge. He asks me questions. Um, I don't know how to say, like, first day I got back, I had a workout, I was going to go 
destroy my rhythm, you know, jet lag came back and he's like, I'm here, I'm working with you. I'm like, okay, let's go to work. And then, you know, it just changes the workout from there and then uh, we push each other to be better. We saw connections between you and Fox on the floor right away without the practice time. Now yeah. that you've had an off season yeah. to get to know each other and work together, yeah. what are your expectations with that partnership? Uh, I'm excited. Uh, I think it's only going to get better. Uh, the more the more we play together, um, we're going to know our habits and what we like and where we like the ball or how he, he likes me setting the screen, you know. So the more we get to play together, it's going to be better. So uh, the fact that we only played, I don't know how many games we lost together, 15, <laughs> something like that. So um, we get a training camp together, and as the season goes on, I feel like our chemistry is going to get better and better, and that's and, and that's mostly my most of it. And I know Mike Brown's a defensive-minded coach, man. What have you really learned from him early just defensively, and how do you think you guys can improve as a unit? I feel like um, we're going to have a lot of uh, simple – simple but direct rules that uh, everyone's going to follow and if everyone follows those rules um, everything's going to fall into place um, he's, he's been on it since uh, since he got hired uh, on us about it that um, it's, it's going to be a big part for us and um, that's obviously one of the most important things to win. when you have a quick turnaround from the the summer and the international stuff into the nba season is that how did how does your body react to that is it more beneficial or is it is it tough to, um, to get back in gear again I think it's beneficial. Um, I think you're obviously if you don't get hurt and you take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, you're in shape. You're in shape. You're playing against the highest level there is, and um, you're getting game reps. Uh, and, and I feel like that, that's important. You know, um, NBA off season is, is long if you don't make the playoffs, and um, getting those uh, live, live, live reps uh, mean a lot. What do you hope to get out of having a full training camp here as opposed to you know being thrown in the mix mid-season like you did last year? It's completely different. You know, everyone's on the same page. Uh, thrown in the mix, you're just trying to catch on to other, other people. Other people have gone, which means you guys are getting different rotations. You know, everything's different. You know, now we're gonna go through this together from the beginning. Everyone's gonna know each other, so you know what to expect. From us. How is a whirlwind of your life in the last like six, seven months? You've been traded. You had a baby. You played overseas. You worked with shooters. Just. How are you doing mentally and uh, trying excited. to survive? <laughs> excited, excited, uh, excited. Um, definitely, um, it's a new chapter, and I'm, I'm really excited for it. Uh, we got a lot of expectations and goals, and um, it's fun. This is our life. We're NBA players. This is, this is normal to us. Is that baby tall already? Yes, tall. <laughs> yeah, he's tall. Wants to walk. Doesn't even want to crawl. Just goes straight to walking. Uh -huh. <laughs> you, you played a lot alongside another big in Indiana. Yeah. How do you think that that could work? Uh, you and um, Holmes playing alongside one another. Uh, I think it's great. I, th I think we have the coaching staff to put us in the in the right position. Um, it might not be all game. It might be a couple spurts of the minute uh, uh, of the game, depending on how coach wants to play us. Um, we'll find out more tomorrow um, with how the offense goes and, and the defensive schemes. Have they given you an idea of, of how much you might play the four versus the five? Uh, no, no, haven't 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 heard anything yet uh, about that. Um, just talking about the general offense and general defense. Uh, I feel like that will come during training camp and preseason games. What about that conversation in Europe when Vivek and, uh, and Mike went over? What was that conversation like? Uh, we were just talking about um, we had a team dinner uh, yesterday with everyone, the whole, the whole organization, and uh, basically just giving me a summary of what's going to happen, his views. I, I had a chance to uh, ask uh, Mike, Mike about uh, what he thought about some of my questions. Uh, it's awesome that uh, he's approachable like that, and uh, he'll give you feedback, and then we can go back and forth. So uh, that's that, that's been really good and helpful. What were those things that were important to you? Just um, things of the team, roles of the team, um, how we're gonna do things. You know, just uh, or organizational stuff. Uh, just trying to just laying out the season and talking about everything. Okay.